Let's consider six washers that are spaced on this thin rod equidistant apart. The rod itself is 0.5 meters in length where we have the mass of each washer being 20 grams. Let's write that down, 20 grams or 0.02 kilograms. We're rotating about an axis smack dab in the middle and we wanna know what's the moment of inertia of this system. To do this, we'll calculate our moment of inertia by summing up each mass times its distance away from the axis of rotation squared. We'll label each of these one, two, three, four, five, six, and then figure out what the distances are away. Since this is 25 centimeters from the end, we know that R1 is 25 centimeters. We come in 10 centimeters, we have 15 centimeters or 0.15 meters. And then you have 0.5 meters to 0.3. Mass four and mass five and mass six are symmetric to this. So I'm not going to label them separately here. We can now add these together and say this is gonna be equal to M1 R1 squared plus M2 R2 squared plus M3 R3 squared plus etc. In plugging in our values, we can plug them in. This is for mass one and it's R1, mass two and R2 squared, mass three, R3 squared. And because we're symmetric over here, uh, instead of writing all of this out for four, five, and six, I'm going to just group this together and multiply by two, save myself a little bit of space and work. We can plug things in and come up with the final answer of 0 0.0035 kilogram meter squared. Fine. What about if we remove the two closest washers? What's the moment of inertia now? Rather than write out the whole thing again, we can just look at this answer and take out this last term. Evaluating that, we get a very similar number. You might wonder, wait, we took out a third of the mass. How is the number so similar? And the answer is the moment of inertia depends on the mass of the object and the distance away. And it's the distance away squared. So this object here that is 0.25 meters away, that's five times further away than the, this inner object. And then that difference gets squared. So taking away objects or mass near the axis of rotation has less of an effect on our moment of inertia than if they were further out. All right, what about if our system with six washers, so we're going back to our original moment of inertia, rotates at five revolutions per second. What is our rotational kinetic energy? We have a formula for this. K is equal to one half I omega squared. We've already found I, so we can plug that in. And when we do our revolutions per second, we have to convert that to radians to make this work out nicely, leaving us with a final kinetic energy of 1.73 joules. I'll reemphasize this. Whenever you're plugging in anything into this V equals R omega or K equals one half I omega squared, we always want to use radians as we plug stuff in because that's how we built a lot of this information and it'll make your life easier.